Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create a cascading dropdown in SharePoint Online using Power Apps. In my previous videos, I have done this through using InfoPath and SP Services. I'll provide link for those videos in description. But in this video, we're going to focus on Power Apps. So this is my data list which I've already created and I have two column region and country. And apart from that, I have one more list which is a source list and I have created two column here also that is region and countries. All these columns are single line of text. So what I'm going to do is in this source list, I have this Asia and Europe region and countries corresponding to those uh, region have been added to this country column. So what I want when I click on this new and select a region from here in the region section, countries corresponding to those region should come up here in the country column. Right now, these are single line of text. So I'll talk about how we can achieve this in Power Apps. I'll go in my Power Apps, click on Customize Form. A Power App form will be loaded in my screen. It will take some time. Once your form is loaded, this is how it's look like. I'll just zoom in this one. Now you can see in my form, I have title, region, country, and all these one. I'll go in my SharePoint form one, and in the field section, in the edit field, I'll remove my title. I don't need that title, and I'll remove this attachment also. So now I have a region and country here. I'll go in the region. I'll change the control type of this particular one as an allowed values, which is a drop down. And I'll say do this with country also. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unlock these two column. Once that is done, I'll go in my view section. I'll check the data source here. So right now the data list is connected. I need to connect my source list also. So I'm going to type SharePoint here. SharePoint add connection. Connect directly. It will take some time. Now either you can enter your site URL in if you know your site, just select it from here. And I know my list name is source list. Click on connect. Once it is connected, it will show your list here. That is my source list. So this task is done. Now next what I need to do is <coughs> I'll go in my region section and in my function, I'm gonna just type distinct method here. It will bring distinct here and I want this from my source list and the column which I want to distinct is that is my region. So that means if you have a repetitive value in your column, it will load only a single one, this one. And how I can test is just press Alt in your <coughs> keyboard and test that you'll see Asia and Europe only two reasons are there because the distinct method is applied this that's why it's loading Asia and Europe only once so the column one is achieved and now in the country one <coughs> you can directly apply filter from here but I'll show you the other way of doing this and when you select this country one you go in your property there is a depends on click on this one <coughs> You can see that there is data card 5 value, which this one is showing. That is data card 5 value. That means our region value result <coughs> as in filter. That's what we are talking about. This is the filter, applying filter. I'll show you once it is done. Now the matching field we need to apply is I will select my source list, which it should match and I'll select my <coughs> region here. It will be my region. So what it's doing is basically <coughs> when you're this uh, 
your data got five value that means this region value is equal to my source list region value then it will apply filter to this particular country column means uh, you know the country specific to those region will be filtered out basis on this particular one so once I click on apply <clears throat> you will see that the filter is applied here so what this filter is doing uh, it's selecting a source list and if the region value is equal to data card dot selected dot result value then it will load the countries corresponding to this particular region <clears throat> so I can test this with pressing alt key right now there is no country why because in the value value of this particular one I have not selected the country I'll just click on the country and now if I press alt and I can see that right now the region is selected as Asia and the countries corresponding to Asia is there if I select the region Europe you'll see that country corresponding to Europe is there so that's there it is done now just go in your file click on save <coughs> once your power a it's saved publish to SharePoint publish this one once it is published go to your data list refresh this one and now click on new we'll see that our power app form is getting loaded and we'll have a region and country as a drop down value there I can select my region Asia countries corresponding to Asia are there and if I select Europe <clears throat> and the countries corresponding to Europe are there thank you so much for uh, watching this video if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much